I had a, a very happy childhood in the sense that we were a very close family. I got knocked around a lot by the boys. I had three older brothers, and uh, they used to treat me like one of them, which was a little bit unfortunate because I couldn't quite take the knocks that they could, but they thought I could anyway, so I cried a lot. You get razzed. <laughs> you didn't get razzed at all. I get razzed. It was me who got razzed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Bruce is the one who got knocked around all the time. Well, he made a good priest, though. Oh, damn, Bruce, we got some fine pictures. I was, even, I was even a pope for a while. <laughs> Bruce used to give us communion in bed every morning from Indian Bruce. <laughs> Remember? All dressed up like a priest. I, I used to bring all these guests home, and there he was, every morning knocking on the door. Time for communion. Father Bruce is here. Was How that? old were you? About six. <laughs> had all the little had all the little kids out in the lawn and we were all listening inside and uh, we had just been to church and he was out there and he had all the little kids all lined up outside in the lawn and he had all the robes on and he said we won't have a sermon today I'm hot and you're hot and there's too many people standing at the back <laughs> that was really good, Bruce. Where's he get it? Well, it wasn't original. You just heard it an hour before. It but it sounded pretty funny. Yeah. Another proposal from Vancouver. Oh. <laughs> How many is this? 23, I think. 23? Since the 1st of January. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I should meet some of these people. One of the things that I don't really look forward to about going to Halifax is that I have to answer all the mail uh it's it's answered for me by leonard who does Chapman most Montreal of my pr stuff in this part of the world <laughs> but um to, that's very time consuming because the letters are getting more and more frequent and the quantity is increasing and so now i i spend probably five or six hours working on that kind of thing it's kind of fun though because uh, everybody writes a different letter, and I try to read them all, and um, some of them are very funny. Here's a football player with the uh, CFL. Oh, really? Is, he, is it a proposal? Well, semi. <laughs> what? Hmm. You putting me on? No, really no, no. Really is, eh? No, oh, yes. He's not Joe Namath or Derek Sanders. <laughs> so I'm not sure whether or not you'd sign, but this is what the reply that we have here. Oh, you. great. Okay. okay. All my love. <laughs> I'm trying to get people to know what I'm like, the people with whom I work. And once they know what I'm like and they know that I'll work hard, then I can start to demand some free time. Because I'm worked very hard now. And it gets to the point where you say, oh, I'm not Superman. I can't be every place at once. I felt that I was being discussed as a third party several times in the beginning of this whole thing. But now that I've had a hit record, and now that I've kind of established myself in the business, people respect me for my uh, views, and for, you know, they ask me questions. And they realize that I want to be involved in all these things. I can't let everybody do all these things for me because then I'm completely out of the picture. And um, I'm just one of those people who has to know exactly what's going on. I think that now they respect that in me and they no longer refer to me as the packaged commodity in the corner because I'm a part of whatever they're talking about. <laughs>